Buckle up. I got my chef hat on. I'm ready to cook right now. Chef K po through the door to talk this boxer. Hyman McGill was gifted a win against Sergey Devrachenko, right? Over the weekend. He looked horrible in that fight. First of all, they didn't even fight at 160. They fought at 168 pounds, right? Sergey Devrachenko is past his prime. And he was beating the brakes off of Jaime Mugil. I had it a draw. I would have been cool with it being a draw. Not gonna lie to you. I would have been cool with it being a draw. Sergey Devrachenko was putting hands on him. He had that boy head bopping like he was doing something. <laughs> he had that boy Jaime Mugil head bopping like he was doing something. The boy was, you know, the boy was. <laughs> Let me chill. So, I'm going to say this, and the Hyman McGill fans ain't going to like this. Even with this dude being off for two years, if they fought next, Jamal Charlo will stop Hyman McGill. He'll stop him. We, even with him being out for two years, he will stop Hyman McGill. It ain't like Hyman McGill fighting killers anyway. Golden Boy not putting that man in there with no tough competition. He fighting below level competition. That's just what it is. He's fighting below level competition. He's not fighting top. And if he is fighting tough fights, it's somebody that's past their prime, like Sergey Devichenko. A dude that's past his prime who beat the doors off. He, how many gear face was fucked up? Okay, sorry for cussing. But he, I'm just keeping it a thousand. He getting there with Charlo, it's over. Charlo gonna be a unified champion at 160. That's just what it is, right? He gonna be a unified champion. And which Charlo tried to make that fight last year, right? And Oscar De La Hoya said, nah, we ain't doing that. Why? Because he know Jaime McGill can't beat no damn Jamar Charlo. He know that. If he if he knew that, he would have put that boy in there. If he felt like Hammond McGill was that dude, Hammond McGill would be fighting the top fights. He not even fighting top fighters. I, I think the dude got 20-something fights, if I ain't mistaken. They trying to push him like he was the next Canelo, but he, he just ain't there yet. He ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so they trying to, like, they put him in these subpar fights. They trying to keep that belt on him to market him. That's what they trying to do. They trying to keep that belt on that boy. That's just what it is. But we got to call a spade a spade. We got to keep it a thaw wow. Ask a dealer who you know. He, he's an Olympic gold medalist. He know. He could look and be like, you ain't got it. <laughs> That's what it is. He know. He can sit here and continue to lie he want to. He know. He can look and be like, that motherfucker ain't got it, bro. And if he get in here with Charlo, hey, we just going to continue to move him this way because if he get in there with Charlo, even if he get in there, he don't fight Charlo. This motherfucker fight Triple G, he's getting stopped by old-ass Triple G. Triple G will knock the piñatas out of Jaime Munguilla. You got to call a spade a spade. Triple G may be old, but he still got power. He still got power. He may be old, but he got power. He heard Canelo. And, and, uh, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He had Canelo shy. You know what I'm saying? Normally, Canelo come with that high guard, and he still just hit, hit, ripping. Nah, he wasn't doing that. He was very cautious to this Triple G. He was like, all right, this dude's still punching. Nah, I ain't. I'm telling you right now. Hyman Mugil, they can't protect him for long. They can keep move, trying to move him out. They move him eventually. He gonna have to. He gonna have to fight some top competition eventually. He gonna have to answer. You see what I'm saying? He he can't keep running for some smoke. He gonna have to fight another top fighter eventually. That's what it is. And how will that end? With him laying on his back. That's what's gonna happen. We got to keep it a thousand. I like Hamid Mugia. 
but the time is now. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Boss gone. Hey, bro, what the fuck you doing?